you beautiful collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Optopotamus coming with another video review. And on today's episode, finally, we're going to be taking all the Terracons and combining them to form Abominus. Now, as I said in all of my videos, I kind of have a preferred look and arrangement for these guys. As we know, the arms can be legs, the legs can be arms, so you can swap out and mix and match and do whatever you want with them. But this is going to show kind of how I like having Abominus set up. So starting off first, here we have Cutthroat. Again, I like using him as a leg, just uh, that's personal preference, really. Uh, so we got the foot. We're going to plug that in there like so. Again, if you don't want to use that, you can use, yeah, like, I, I got some of the Dinobot ones. You can use that. I'm going to show how the show the look uh, with the black the hands as opposed to the colored ones. So you'll get an idea for that, too. Okay, so let's... Put in center twin, wedge that in there, and kind of just yeah, position these however. And there we go. So there's the legs. You go ahead, take the torso. Again, you got the little port right here that you just slot that in just like that. Come to the other leg, and again, slot that in just like that. What do we got? Oh, his gun's in the way. So make sure you don't have the gun in the way. That's an important step, apparently, that I neglected. All right, so there's that. Oh, his legs falling all over the place. And there you have uh, the lower torso for Abominus done. Coming up to the top, here we have the Ripper Snapper. And again, so you're going to take this. And you're going to put this in there. Oh, these are gonna have to get moved around or something let's see just get that out of the way um that you know looking at the color i mean it doesn't really bother me all as much as i thought it would i mean that kind of looks good but again you can take a black one if you're so desired and you can put that on and that looks pretty good as well but for the sake of the video i'm just gonna do that and then what do i got going on here do i have these not where they're supposed to be get in there Okay, so rotate that. Again, uh, the official configuration has it like this. Uh, I'm fairly certain this kind of gets in the way. Yeah, angle that up. Keep this all together and then angle that up like that. Uh, so the official configuration uh, has it like this, but I like using that double, well, joint, I guess, uh, section down here to create a uh, double jointed elbow bend. Uh, I, well, knee, knee and elbow. You got or the knee, the knee and hip. I'm all over the place this morning. So we're gonna get that set up. Then you just slot this down, just like there. On that side, come over to what? And then again, you can put that on there. I actually kind of like leaving the extra thumb on there because it creates uh, more of a monstery kind of look, in my opinion. So put that there. Slide that down. And, well, I mean, we can open that. Enigma! Bam! And there you have Abominus fully combined. And I really am happy with how this guy has turned out. And I really do like the way that this guy turned out. The proportions look really very nice now obviously yeah uh because he's a combiner and he's made up of a bunch of different robots uh his bulk is really gonna kind of shine here i mean obviously he's got big arms and everything but i think he still uh, proportionally looks pretty darn good I mean, I, I did say that I, I do think that these uh, Terracons make up the best looking combiner that we've gotten so far, and I still stand by that. Now, I want to do a comparison, so obviously, uh, let me try and get him all in the frame. Here is Abominus. And here he is with the uh, Unite Warriors uh, Computron, uh, which, uh, honestly, you know, taking a look at this guy, uh, he really does come across really well done yeah. a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's got much better looking hands and uh, the feet here are uh, much much nicer looking but you can see just kind of straightening them out here how these two guys kind of shape up uh, I, I don't know if I would say that they were rivals in the show but they always seem to kind of square off against one another 
I guess the one thing that I would say that uh, this definitely does shine in it w would be the the feet, for example. I mean, these look uh, so much nicer than what this guy gets. Yeah, and now with the recent reveal. Uh, that Takara is basically going to be doing the same thing with the figures that Hasbro does. Uh, we may be stuck with these dinky little things as as the feet, which that would be uh, kind of a shame uh, if you ask me. Uh, keep that in there. Uh, why is that? This whole section here feels like it's not wanting to stay in there all that well. But uh, one thing that I've also noticed is that uh, while these arms have uh, good ratchet joints here, the hips here are fairly loose, um, both forward and back. I mean, that's this one. I mean, th this doesn't even have, <laughs> I mean, you can hear this one. This just nothing uh so it does and then even going outward uh that's a little bit better than that one is uh so stability is definitely an issue with uh, at least mine so that's something that uh, i would definitely be aware of uh when you're going to be displaying this guy because he can get a little bit tricky to display if the legs aren't going to be stationary now one thing that you can do i see some people doing it uh is taking the feet here and let me uh, just detach the legs here. Uh, they take or they, they take the hands of uh, whatever foot you're using. So for example, here we have center twin. Uh, you can take the hand that comes with them and put this in the back. You got a little post right there. Just plug that in there. I guess you can rotate this around. Kind of makes the foot a little bit bigger. Uh, mostly it just makes it longer. Yeah, for the most part so i guess that could kind of give some stability to them so let's do that here with cutthroat as well and that's why is it one and that doesn't seem not there we go all right and then also you know what you could probably do this may actually make it look a little bit better as well you have this i mean you'd have the hole right here you can take this little piece and you can put that there I guess, or maybe not. I thought maybe you could, <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't really stay in there. All right, so never mind. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. All right, so let's put this back in there, and let's recombine all of this jazz. Get a jazz. I made a uh, Transformer joke because, you know, jazz is a Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kill me. All right, so, um, I mean, that does help to, you know, bulk up his legs a little bit. So I, I don't mind that really all that much. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, everything else is kind of disheveling. Uh, so my biggest complaint would probably probably be uh, the stability of his legs. That is definitely unfortunate. Uh, but you can't kind of spread him out like that. It's just those joints are definitely not very secure uh, first articulation the head rotates uh, i covered everything pretty much in detail with all the paint and sticker detail and things of that nature and all the individual reviews so i'm not going to go over too much uh, the rotation here for the uh, shoulder what's what's going on here this is kind of flopping that moves in and out again you have the uh, swivel up here as part of the hip you also have the knee bend right there uh, the hips also move forward and back so you have that you can rotate no rotation at the waist itself the hips as you can see forward back in out they also rotate bends at the knee also technically rotates at the knee as well uh, and then i do like that they put this little pivot on the ankle so you can get a little bit wider of a pose but when you have hips that are this loose it's kind of pointless because you can go like that far and it it his own weight uh unfortunately these just need to be a lot stronger so you're really not going to do much i mean the most you might be able to do is like one click out uh but because of my table that this is a, a piece of plexiglass it's way too slick for this to uh stand on so i'm just gonna have to kind of keep messing up this guy's arms down here i'm just gonna have to kind of keep it in a uh, upward sort of pose 
just like that, which which is fine. I don't mind it, but all in all, I, I like him. Uh, I think aesthetically, like I said, I think he's one of the best looking. Uh, the only thing that really uh, others uh, have excelled at, I mean, I can't really compare too much because the Unite Warrior ones is a, a exclusive one through Takara. So uh, comparing this guy to the Hasbro ones, I think he really does look better than all of them. And as I said in the individual reviews, I am not much of a Terracon fan. So for me to really like this, despite not liking uh, those characters or having any attachment to those characters, really says something to me. So if you're a fan of Abominus, this is absolutely a must have to get. If you're a fan of Transformers that are pretty decent, this is also one that I would absolutely recommend getting. So. All that being said, if you're looking for them, they are hitting various retail locations right now. So good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on these as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformers Power of the Prime figures. But beyond that guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way towards helping me out and I would absolutely appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.